What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Big Chunky. So today we are going to talk about the uh, the first time they that uh, Nintendo is adding SNES games to their uh, SNES Online app. Now we got I think about 20 games at launch, and uh, they've been fun. Uh, you, of course, you have some essentials like Super Mario World and a Link to the Past and uh, Super Metroid, all those kind of games. But now they are finally adding more games. So we haven't had any games added to the SNES Online app or the NES Online app um, <clears throat> since uh, SNES games launched. And I think it was uh, August. It was either August or September. I think it might have been September. But either either way, since then we haven't had any games, and now we have. I th it's like six games total, maybe I think. So. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and get started. This is from a uh, an article by The Verge. So, um, of course, I'll leave a, a link down in the description. So, uh, the most notable game that they are adding is definitely Star Fox 2. Because Star Fox 2 was one of those games, that, of course, it was canceled back in, uh, back in, the, back in the 90s. Uh, because uh, the Nintendo 64 was on the horizon and they were developing a Star Fox game for the 64. So, um... They can't. They ended up canceling uh, Star Fox Two after it was done. It was. It was already done. It was ready to go. So they canceled it uh, in favor of just releasing Star Fox sixty four because of the visual upgrades that the sixty four would provide over the um, over the uh, SNES. But uh, of course, last year or was it? Yeah, I think last year. Last year, twenty eighteen. We got the SNES Classic. Actually, that might have been 2017. I don't remember. Uh, we got the SNES Classic, <laughs> and that, of course, was the first time that Star Fox 2 was ever officially released. And um, a lot of people have been waiting since their <laughs> since their childhoods to be able to play this game. And uh, I think I got a little bit of a mixed reception because, of course, it was reviewed um, as if it were <laughs> a game coming out in 2019 or 2018 or 17, whatever that was. But um, of course, people enjoyed it. Some people enjoyed it. Some people didn't like it all that much because, of course, it is a dated, like, uh, proto 3D game for the for the Super Nintendo. So, you know, take that game as you will. But that was the first time it was released, and that's the only time it was ever officially released until now. So it's going to be added onto the uh, the Super Nintendo cla or the Super Nintendo um, uh, SNES online app for the Nintendo Switch. So you can play that as long as you have a subscription to your, um, the Nintendo's online service. So that's probably the most notable game because uh, before then you had to have an SNES Classic to play this game unless you played it in some kind of less than legal way, but, you know, whatever. You can play it now. You can play it on the go um, on your on your Nintendo Switch. It's worth checking out if you like Star Fox, the, the initial Star Fox, because there are a lot of upgrades and if you played Star Fox 64, I'm sure you'll see a lot of similarities between Star Fox 64 and Star Fox 2. So, after Star Fox 62, the, the rest of the NES games that they're adding are Super Punch-Out. So, that's cool. Uh, my dad really, really likes Punch-Out. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES. Uh, he didn't really play Super Punch-Out all that much, but I do, I do think people enjoy that game, uh, whether or not it's more or less than the NES version or even the Wii version. Who knows? Uh, Kirby Superstar is also being uh, added, which is... I believe Kirby Superstar is just a compilation of uh, six Kirby games for the Nintendo 64, or I'm sorry, the, the uh, Super Nintendo. So that's being added. Uh, that's good. These, these are all games that are actually available on the SNES Classic. So, except for the Capcom RPG Breath of Fire 2. So when the SNES app launched, uh, Breath of Fire was one of the games that was uh, available at launch. You could play it. It was a It's an RPG. So now we have the sequel to Breath of Fire. And I know that Breath of, the, Breath of Fire has... Uh, a pretty big cult following, so that's good for the fans of that series. I really, I do want to get into that game. I really need to play a lot more of the um, the classic SNES RPGs, uh, like <laughs> like any of them, really. Uh, I played a little bit of Earthbound, and uh, for whatever reason, I think I fell off of it, but I need to get back to it. Those games are great. I love those games. And um, so those are the four SNES games that are going to be added to the online service, and we also have two NES games that are going to be added. Um... <laughs> Sunsoft's Run and Gun Shooter, Journey to Sil Silius, and I don't really, I really don't know anything about Journey to Silius. I'm not sure, <laughs> um, but one game I do, I have heard of is SNK's Action Adventure Crystallis. So I have heard of Crystallis, never played it. 
Um, I, whenever I go back to NES games, I typically like to just play the classics. Like I play the Mario's and I play Zelda's and, um, eventually, or, uh, every now and then I'll play, um, like some of the RPGs, like the older, the, like the, the very first Final Fantasy is one of the games that I've, that I've played a little bit of, uh, some Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior on the SNES, or I'm sorry, on the NES. Um, so I'm not uh, incredibly familiar with, uh, with any, with NES games. I'm much more familiar with, uh, SNES going forward, but those are the games that are going to be added on, uh, December the 12th. So tonight, or I'm sorry, today is December the 10th. So Thursday, we'll be able to play all these games. And, uh, so that'll bring the, uh, <clears throat> the total of, uh, SNES games to 24 and the total of NES games to 50 on, um, on on the their respective apps on the on the uh, Nintendo Switch, so uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you are you happy with uh, the the titles added to the uh, to both the respective apps? Uh, I'm I'm fine with it, really. Uh, I really think that um, both of these apps could use uh, probably a game from like the Earthbound series. Like I think the NES game or the NES uh, app should absolutely have a version of mother one uh whether it's uh they take the the wii u rom or the the uh the release that was on the wii u uh earthbound beginnings and just put that on there and uh of course the any the snes app could use earthbound that would be an excellent way to put everything to put the <laughs> the entire series that has been released in the west onto the switch and of course it'll give us another reason to um complain about why mother three has yet to be localized but let me know what you guys think. What do you, do you want any more games that have uh, that maybe I didn't talk about or uh, that aren't listed here? Uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, leave the video a like if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. And I'll see you in the next one.